This is Bruce. And this is Olive. And she says you ought to stick around because it's, it's showtime. Look at this. This video of seven-year-old Willie Hearn says it all. <laughs> we're going to explain the noise here in just a second. Take a look at the joy. Take a look at the wonder. Take a look at the awe that you see in his face as he feeds a sloth. It's those kinds of feelings and more that you can experience with the animals at Barn Hill Preserve in Frankfurt. Yeah, but don't take our word for it. Just look at who we have here in the studios. Or you could hear uh, what... <laughs> <laughs> what our human guests have to say about this Delmarva treasure. Josh Mueller is the owner of Barn Hill Preserve. Zach Boba is the brand manager. And we have, <laughs> this is Olive yes. the Otter. And that is who you've been hearing throughout the show, <laughs> making her, I, what do you call those noises? It's squeaky. Yeah, you know, they've got all sorts of different noises, um, about t uh, 12 different noises or 13 different noises that they make to communicate with each other. So it can just mean so many different things from, you know, like, oh, she, like she loves the attention. Mm -hmm. So giving her the scratches, she's just really right. enjoying it. Or just like, hey, hey you I know, want to tear up the couch. I, I want something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she so, does not want to be held, that's for sure. So along with Josh is Zach Bova, who is the brand manager, and you have somebody else with you. Yeah, I've got Bruce here. Uh, he's 11 months old. He's a red kangaroo. Uh, and he is quite the opposite of Olive. He's mostly content just to chill here in this pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. we were saying, because, you know, we've had... Um, the kangaroos in before. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest one we've had. Usually they're joeys, right? Yeah, he's a little bit. He's a little bit bigger, I think, than the ones we've had before. Uh, like I said, he's 11 months old. It's getting close to his birthday here, and yeah, he's uh, he's kind of outgrowing the pouch a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, generally for them in the wild. Um, 10 months is usually once the mom stops letting them in the pouch. Right. Because at that point, she's going to have her next joey, mm -hmm. and so they get replaced. Uh, so, you know, he's like, does enjoy the pouch some, but at the same time, he doesn't want to spend all day in it like he was, you know, when he was six, seven months old. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, we have all of the otter, we have Bruce the kangaroo. What else can we see at Barney? I mean, we've got over 25 animals uh, or different types of animals at our facility for guests to be able to see. So it's really exciting um, from different types of reptiles like uh, blue tongue skinks, uh, ball pythons for people that like snakes. We've got large animals. Uh, we've got two types of camels. We've got the Bactrian camel and the dromedary camel. Oh, wow. We've got a Watusi cow. We've got aardvarks, otters. So there's so many different animals. And then, you know, a new one that we're trying to slowly get people uh, into being able to see is our spider monkeys. Ooh. So that's been a really exciting oh, thing. Uh, if you're lucky enough, every now and then we do encounters with them with guests and they get a chance to have uh, either Charlotte or Peter. They'll be able to come out for a little bit and they climb on them and they can feed them a little snack. Oh. So, you know, at Barnhill, we're really all about a hands-on experience because we believe that that's going to inspire people to make a difference, you know, for the animals that are in the wild. Yeah, because it, it's, it's about education as well. It is. I mean, that's how we started. It wasn't with a facility in the beginning. We traveled around to schools. Uh, we still do, and, and we uh, it's free for the schools. We take seven of our animals there, and we teach the kids about these animals, conservation, and how you can make a difference. Uh, and we travel far, up to 12 hours out of Delaware to visit. Wow. So, yeah, so we have a really huge outreach visiting usually about three schools a day, so 15 schools a week that we see. Okay, let me let me ask this question. Can, yeah. can you and Olive and can Zach and Bruce hang out for just a minute? Hey, we're going to take a real quick break, and we got more we want to talk to you about. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but Olive the Otter from Barnhill Preserve in Frankfurt in Historic Studio D today. And she is, uh, she seems like she's irritated, but Josh was just telling us, no, it's just kind of like having a toddler who wants to go explore through the studio. Is that basically it? That's exactly how it is. I mean, now she's very content. She's really enjoying the, this little love sesh that she's getting <laughs> over here. And so, you know, they... They just have so much energy. They have extremely high metabolism. We actually have to feed them five times a day really? because their metabolism is so fast. And they're burning it off. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they run around, then they pass out, they wake up, they eat, they <laughs> run around, they pass out. It's just like, Oh, non-style. I don't know if I don't know if Jeff got the shot where she just yawned, but she has teeth 
behind teeth, behind teeth. Oh yeah, I mean, she's a carnivore, so you know, there's no fruits or veggies for her. Um, we feed her two different types of fish, we feed her shrimp, we feed her two different types of clams. So she has a, they have a very specific diet uh, to make sure that they get all the energy and all the protein that they need. Yeah. You were just telling us about a new partnership that you have. Yeah, so we just partnered up, it's called Kids Saving the Rainforest. It's a US-based nonprofit that operates in Costa Rica, and it's an awesome organization. They've been around for 22 years, and you can actually go down there and stay at the sanctuary. But they have a animal hospital where they take in injured wildlife that people find. They rehabilitate them and release. And so, like, you know, we have those in the U.S., but it's usually raccoons, squirrels, deer. Down there, it's going to be sloths, spider monkeys, squirrel Ooh. monkeys. So it's so cool. And you can actually go there and volunteer and help in the sanctuary. Oh, my goodness. Feeding, doing enrichment for these different animals. They do amazing work um, and it's made a huge difference. Yeah. Now, Zach, you have an awesome job there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't complain. Yeah, yeah. So uh, she seems, uh, he seems yep. like he's uh, calming down a little bit. If you were to yeah. let him go. Uh, he'd probably hop around and explore a little bit. I definitely think so. He probably would... not chew on as many things as Olive. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah. The yeah. quality of life for the animals is, is important to you guys, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, that's our primary concern, I would say. Absolutely, you know, that's why we do small groups with all of our tours, so that way it's never overwhelming for the animals. You know, we, we try to really make sure that we put in account their safety and their health before anything else. Yeah. If we see someone that, you know, one of the animals not feeling good one day, we'll just call it off for the day and just reschedule and, you know, say, you know, it just it's just not the day for it, because we don't want them to be unhappy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, you know, about, it, it's, we want people to enjoy it, but we want them to enjoy it while the animals are enjoying it as well. Right. Sure, sure. And you guys uh, have enrichment programs for the animals, mm -hmm. things to keep them occupied? Thinking. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we use puzzle feeders for a lot of the animals, but um, we also try to allow people, when they're doing their encounters with the animals, help us with the enrichment. So, you know, the otter swims are a great example. When people get to go in the pool with the otters, that's going to be enrichment for them because they're swimming around this big pool. We've got these little rockets that dive down, so it's like they're catching the fish and bring them back up. It's so <laughs> much fun. You know, um, you know, you can go in with the, the kangaroos. It's a lot of really cool things. And, you know, all of this stimulation helps them with their en enrichment. So if you have someone who's afraid of an otter or afraid of a kangaroo, who's afraid of handling animals this closely. Yeah, you know, it's, it's always interesting when people come that are hesitant of it, but we try to help them maybe get over that fear. Yeah. And you know, we don't force anyone to do anything. Of course, you know, it's your choice when you come, but we can show you that there's nothing to be afraid of with ours. Now, in the wild, definitely yeah, don't approach yeah. an otter. You know, if you have one in your pond, I don't recommend swimming with it. <laughs> it's not gonna end the same way. But you know, with the animals in our care, we, we work with them since they're just little babies to, you know, get them used to people. Oh, well, I think uh, you have a new friend there. This uh, one's ready to tear into my boot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump inside. Well, thank you so much for bringing your friends in. Absolutely. And you guys are located in Frankfurt? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, we're only 10 minutes from the beach, so we're okay. super close to everything. All right, and we'll have information on our website. Zach Bova, brand manager, and Josh Mueller, owner of Barn Hill Preserve. Thank and you. Thank Olive you. Olive and Bruce, don't Very forget Olive and Bruce. Good the stars of the show. <laughs>